All right, today we're gonna to be demonstrating a new roller design and a larger roller size. So we have our uh, updated roller. This is a six inch diameter pipe and we're phasing into a quick change position for most of our rollers. Uh, if you don't have material in here, uh, you can just lift the roller and the bearing or the bushing bolt uh, up and slide it to a different position. Wider positions are for thicker materials and closer to the center for thinner materials. We also have a location in here. This is a three quarter inch hole. Uh, this is for a plain three quarter inch material to adapt to our motorized pipe threader. And today uh, we're gonna be showing off, this is a, about a $200 Harbor Freight pipe threader. Uh, comes with these adapters and then I have a different adapter that I'm selling that goes in here that will adapt it to a half inch socket. And if you get a half inch socket, the stubby ones work better than the tall ones. So here we're gonna put it all together and we're rolling some 3 16 thick, 12 inch wide hot rolled steel and uh, I got these fairly narrow. Uh, this thickness would probably do a little bit better on a slightly wider position, but we're gonna give it a try. And I got a 10 foot strip here. We're gonna try and make ourselves a really nice big fire pit as fast as we can. So, put your socket in, uh, socket onto the pipe threader, and start applying pressure downwards. with the hand versions you roll it right until your material is right above the center line of your roller check that you have just enough pressure on your rollers I'm gonna go a little bit more And then I'm going to use this thing without the location block. Uh, other side. Did not put very much curve into the material. So, um, a different version. We have coarse thread, and here it's fine thread. So, I'm going to do a little bit more pressure.
you hold that end up as it's going through? And up a little bit more and push a little bit. Oh, we're hitting the edge, that's fine. Almost to the point where it supports itself because it's so heavy. But the position works really good. The, um, these bolts are just a little bit less than a foot apart. I'm doing two turns on each pass through. pound pieces of material slowly coming together right over your head. Get a little bit more through here. Love this part of the roll because you can literally watch these ends come closer to each other as you're rolling. And you can see from the sheer weight of this how it flexes it extra.
think that might be enough to seam that, weld that seam together. Have a very round fire ring, the exception of the, the flat distance, as I've said in all my other videos. The flat on the end is proportional to this location distance from bolt to bolt plus maybe an inch. about two feet of springiness to it. And that's, so it's natural status, a little bit open. I could have rolled that a little bit more, but bringing that together is pretty easy and welding that. And there you have a 3 16 fire ring. That's about 48 inches, 46 inches. And the center to bolt, um, center of the roll to the other roller is at just about six inches. And you'll see this flat is just about six inches as well. So there you go. Thanks for watching.